everyone, Yate, and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Alana Yazi, and I am the creator and founder of thefancynapho.com, which is a lifestyle and food blog that follows along my life as a contemporary Danette woman living here in the city. I share a variety of lifestyle and food topics, as well as recipes. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make one of my most popular recipes, which is fancy blue corn cupcakes. They are so delicious, and they're such a pretty blue color that you're just gonna to want to take a picture of them and share them right away. And I hope that you guys do. I hope you guys take pictures and you tag me in them at the Fancy Navajo on Instagram and at the Fancy Navajo blog on Facebook. I love seeing all those beautiful creations that you guys make in your own kitchen. So come join along and let's get started. So first of all, you're gonna to want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So I've already done that. So here, a regular cupcake pan holds 12 cupcakes and I have them lined here with this pretty rose gold metallic liner because these aren't just any cupcakes, these are fancy Navajo cupcakes. So I have 12 here and I have an additional four in this little pretty pink baking sheet here. And we're just gonna set them aside and start making our cupcakes. And um, if you need the recipe, it's on thefancynavajo.com. All of the instructions and ingredients are listed there. So ingredients you're gonna need for this are very simple. If you have any type of dietary restrictions, feel free to modify them to your dietary needs. So I've had a lot of people swap out the all-purpose flour for almond flour, uh, milk, regular milk for almond milk and so on. So feel free to make this recipe your own. These are just guidelines for you to follow. We're gonna start off with our dry ingredients. So with any type of cake uh, recipe, you have your dry ingredients and you have your wet ingredients. So we're gonna start off with the dry ingredients, which is one cup of all-purpose flour, one cup of blue corn meal, we're gonna do five teaspoons of baking powder and we're gonna do a pinch of salt. Now on to our wet ingredients. So you're going to need one cup of milk. I have 2% milk here, any milk will, will work fine. You're gonna need two eggs, I have two eggs here, as well as one fourth cup of sugar and half a cup of unsalted butter. One tablespoon of pure vanilla extract. So. We have our dry ingredients, we have our wet ingredients, and we're gonna first start by mixing together all of our dry ingredients. And so for this recipe, you're going to need a bowl, you need two bowls, as well as a little sifter here. So the sifter is just going to make our cupcakes nice and fluffy and beautiful, um, but if you don't have one, you can skip this step, but these are fancy cupcakes. So we're gonna have nice, fancy blue corn cupcakes. So I'm just gonna pour in the blue corn meal and we're just going to sift it. And one of the questions I get a lot here living in the valley here in Phoenix, Arizona is where do you buy your blue corn meal? So I actually stock up every time I go home to Farmington, New Mexico. I buy it from Navajo Pride. Um, so I've actually never really purchased a blue corn meal here in the valley, but a lot of people say you can buy it from natural grocers in the freezer section. Um, I know Ramona Farms uh, used to sell, I don't know if they still sell it anymore, um, but you can also find blue corn meal uh, from Shema of Navajo Land, as well as Tamaya Blue. Um, those last two are native owned companies, so if you're looking to get blue corn meal, definitely go support them. So one cup blue corn meal, one cup all-purpose flour and again you can use any type of flour that you have on hand and then we're going to do our five teaspoons of baking powder so in they go and again sift 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 so a pinch of salt just to balance out that um, sweet flavor with a little bit of savory so we mixed all of our dry ingredients together and we're going to mix together all of our wet ingredients. So normally I do make this on my stand mixer, but I know not a lot of people have stand mixers at home, so we're gonna do this the good old fashioned way and get in our exercise for the day as well. So for our wet ingredients, we're gonna start off with our room temperature butter. Um, this is unsalted butter. So let me move this aside. Oops. And you just wanna let it sit at room temperature for maybe like 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. But if you forgot to do that, you can definitely put it in the microwave for a few seconds to get it softened. 
And then we're going to add in our sugar as well as our two eggs. And I'm gonna go ahead and start whisking this together because we want this to get nice and creamy and mix together before we add in the milk. I don't know about you guys, but I've been eating a lot now that we've been staying home and I definitely need all the exercise I can get. So we're just whisking, whisking, whisking. All right, so I think we got a good consistency. And now we're gonna go ahead and add that one cup of milk. Put that in there. And then my most favorite part is adding the vanilla. Good, I like using pure vanilla extract, but you can use the any type of vanilla that you have on hand. Oops. And just pour that in there. And it smells beautiful already. So now that we've mixed that all together, we're gonna go ahead and add in our dry ingredients. So if you wanna get super fancy, you can also sift this again. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sift all of those ingredients back in, get a little spillage, that's okay. And we're gonna have another snowfall here, but this time it's gonna have some blue cornmeal and white flour. So you guys have to also let me know if you've already made these cupcakes before. I know um, it's not a new recipe. It's actually been almost four years since I created this recipe. And it was in celebration of reaching 1,000 followers on my Instagram page. The reason why I created fancy blue corn cupcakes is I had a lot of uh, blue corn on hand, my mother-in-law used to gift it to me a lot. And I only knew one or two ways to use blue corn meal, which is blue corn mush and um, blue corn bread. And so I wanted to find a new way to use blue corn meal. And thus became the blue corn cupcakes. And it was a fun way to celebrate the 1000 follower mark on Instagram. And a lot of you seem to really like that as well. And a few of you have shared that your family also makes it. So that makes me so happy. And I always just love seeing your beautiful creations. So, all right. I think we're finally at a good consistency. We wanna make sure everything's well combined. And there we go. We have the delicious blue corn batter. It's a pretty blue color. Okay, so I'm back. I got a ice cream scooper, which is what I like to use to scoop out the batter into my cupcake tins. I have them all right here. And let's get started. So we're just gonna scoop a heaping scoop out. I'm actually gonna pick this up so that way we don't spill too much of this beautiful batter and we're just going to scoop in about halfway. I actually like my cupcakes to be quite filled, but that way we make sure we have enough to go for all 16. And I'm just going to do this for the remaining tins. All right, so we just finished scooping all the batter into the cupcake tins. I'm going to clean up around the sides of the baking dishes so that way it doesn't get uh, crusted on there. So I'm gonna wipe that off. And so we're gonna pop these in the oven for about 20 to 22 minutes. And to check, you just want them to be slightly brown on the edges and then get a toothpick on the top. And if it comes out clean, then they're done. Cupcakes are done and they look so delicious. And they're just slightly brown on the top, which is what we want because we want them to keep its pretty blue color. The hard part is going to be letting these cool before we frost them. Um, if you don't want any frost, you can stop here and after they cool eat them you can use store-bought frosting or you can follow along with me to make my homemade uh, buttercream frosting which goes well with this so all right let's get to the next step all right now we're ready to start the buttercream frosting uh, very simple ingredients all you're going to need is a half a cup of unsalted cold butter three cups of powdered sugar uh, two to four tablespoons of heavy cream if you don't have heavy cream you can use milk as well a pinch of salt as well as 
two teaspoons of uh, pure vanilla extract. So one thing I realized is that we're going to be whipping cold butter. I do not recommend doing that by hand. Um, so if you do have a hand mixer or a sand mixer, please use that to make your frosting. I have mine here with a paddle attachment. So what you're gonna wanna do first is add in your cold butter. So we're just going to unwrap it. And one thing I like to do is slice it up a little bit and put it into the mixer. And then we're just going to uh, mix it until it's a kind of like a dull yellow color and then add in our sugar and our liquids. So I'm gonna lift it up. I don't know if you can tell there, it's kind of like a pale yellowish color. That's what we're wanting. And we can go ahead and add the first cup of powdered sugar. Again, do this in increments, small increments, because once you get the mixer started, a big cloud of powdered sugar might come your way. So let's lock it and put it on low. Powdered sugar has um, combined with the butter. We can stop the mixer and add in one more scoop of powdered sugar. Now, and I'm gonna add the rest of the sugar. And it's gonna be like a crumbly texture. And um, we're gonna add a little bit of the heavy cream or milk and that's gonna kinda give it a little smoother consistency that you would see um, with frosting. So I'm starting to see that it looks like it's evenly combined now. And I'm gonna add the first tablespoon of heavy cream. Vanilla extract um, is also a liquid, so it's gonna help it. So I'm gonna add that in. Now, and it's just two teaspoons. You can add more or less, it's up to you. That, and then our little pinch of salt. Now let's go ahead and mix that together. And I'll stop it and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So look at that, isn't that beautiful? So I'm gonna clean this off and then I'm going to put it in a piping bag and get it ready for frosting and I will be back here. So see you in a bit. So now we're to the final part, the funnest part of baking, which is frosting our blue corn cupcakes. As you can see here, I already got a head start and all I did was I put the frosting into a piping bag and added a uh, Wilton 1M tip and it just added a pretty swirly top like this and then I topped it with a uh, pinion sprinkles, even more fancier and there you have it. It's your beautiful blue corn cupcake that you guys created with me here today. Hope you guys had such a fun afternoon. I know I enjoy sharing with all of you something I love. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. You can find me on Instagram at The Fancy Navajo or here on Facebook at The Fancy Navajo blog. And please uh, feel free to visit my website, thefancynapo.com, where it has all the instructions as well as pictures on everything we did here today. So take care. Bye.